Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button, subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. If you would like to become a member of my channel, go ahead and click the join button. $2.99 per month. You get cool perks, badges, um, all kinds of cool little emojis, all that stuff. And so for those of you who are new, to the channel who have become members welcome michael childers donita martha coronado i believe i said called your name yesterday yes so welcome everybody welcome to the mod sexton spooktacular and yep that's good 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 okay you guys so let's get into this reading i'm gonna take a look at a you versus them scenario we've got heartbroken Deeply sad, separation, separation, breakup, feeling lost, sadness, somebody's missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of this future. Ooh, wow. Okay, addiction. Somebody's addicted to you, Virgo, and they can't get their fix from you, I guess. There's some kind of breakup or heart heartbreaking kind of scenario. Okay, let's take a look at this person and see what messages are showing up here somebody's codependent on you obsessed um they have a block they have a restraint okay oh my gosh yes there's someone here virgo who is like they are stressing like to the max stressing to the max having anxiety not sure if something's broken um they want to have some kind of like growth with you not sure if you like maybe there's a breakup there might have been some separation this person is just missing you and they're having anxiety about this and hello king of swords just popped out there so masculine energy could be feminine energy as well but gemini libra aquarius okay are there sh or they are showing up as the king of swords not showing any emotion but you know what at night at night they're crying at night they've got this tears there was a potential for growth of some sort um, you might have ended something maybe you are going to be ending something going forward due to codependency or like obsessive type of energy <clears throat> okay let's see I'm gonna try to slow it down a little bit give me a clarify your card please on this king of swords oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh okay this could have been, um, there could be, all right, let me try to speak in the <laughs> present to future tense. This, uh, for some of you, it's already happened. We'll acknowledge you there. But uh, apart from that, this could be a marriage. Maybe you have, you're married to someone. Maybe there was a reunion or something about coming home or wanting to go home or get together or be in a long-term committed relationship. This person, Virgo, is like... Look at these cards. Like, I can't. This person is... I don't know if they... Like, they're not... Sh they're having, like, maybe bad dreams or nightmares that something might be over here or that you guys are done or that they're, it's going in that direction. You know, there was, there's something here on the table about having a new beginning, a new start, passionate growth, planting some seeds, having a new beginning. But it looks like something's not happening here. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, this is kind of like some grief or depression. There's grief here. All right. So there's somebody here and it looks like it's a, it could be an air sign, but they are, they want to have this 1111 thing with you. That's what that's what they want. I don't we're going to take a look at you in a second here cuz I'm like what's going on? Why is there a breakup or a separation? This person, okay. One more card please for Virgo, show Virgo. Oh. Either they had a lot of options or they were taking their time figuring out what they wanted to do. Um that and, and there might have been some indifference too. You know, a, a sense of apathy. I feel like this person uh, feels like any love offers they, that you make or that they make, you're just, maybe they think you have other options. You're not choosing them um, or any 
love offers they make to you, you're just like, I don't know. You Maybe you blocked or you're blocking somebody here or you're just trying to maybe think about what you want to do. This is what they're thinking, okay? Even with that Four of Cups, it's kind of like they think that they didn't fulfill your needs or they couldn't meet your needs or that you're unhappy. Um, but it's like, you know, look at it. That's the Ace of Cups. So I feel like I talked about this the other day or yesterday. There's an energy of like aces are just potentials. You can't bank on them. You know, it's kind of like if you, you know, you buy a, a stock and, you know, they could turn at any moment. You know, there, there's a lack of security here, I feel, for some of you. Um, maybe there's something that comes up, this person, about um, living together or getting into a long-term relationship. I don't know. I just feel like this person is totally heartbroken. There's some kind of separation or they're unsure about the future. They're uncertain what's going to happen with you and them. They're uncertain. Let me get a little, let me get some, let me get some messages here. Some love messages on this person. Okay. Hmm. Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. You might tell this person they need to like deal with their issues. Their, their, uh, their cuts and scrapes are seeping out onto you. <laughs> They're spreading virus, bacteria. Okay. So, wow. Okay. I feel like this person really wanted more than friends, or at least they're showing up here. They want more than just friendship. New love. Okay. So if you have a friendship with someone, or you feel like it's just like a friends with B friends with benefit kind of thing or it's just didn't or just friendship and it didn't go anywhere um this person it looks like oh they trust you they want to be with you they're willing it's sitting on the four of wands they're willing to have a new love start or recommit of some sort but there's addiction that sits with this person like they're obsessed with you so they're uh, okay. I don't know what's bringing this about, but your person is like obsessed with you. There's like an addiction, like they're possessive. And you not being in their periphery or if you're not in their energy, they 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 just said strike out. They they feel like they strike out, but they get just so stressed and they're that's what I'm seeing here going forward. I mean, I feel like this person just cannot stand being without you. And I'm going to go and do an extended reading to see what this person, like what will be the outcome for the two of you as far as this relationship, if you're interested to know about that. But we're also going to take a look at you too. Okay. I mean, either you're going to end something with them or you already have. And it, this, it's not going to go well for them. They don't want you to go. They don't want you to leave. Um, they don't want to be out here on my own. <laughs> they don't want to be out there on their own without you in life. Even if, if, if they could just be friends, they'd be happy with that. But I don't know. There's something here about, like, I, if, I guess either you're currently not in this person's life anymore or, or haven't been or won't be. Um they're going to be like a total mess. All right, let's take a look at you. Let's take a look at Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? Oh, Virgo's like, good, serves them right. Oh, Virgo, look at you. Wow, you've got the nine of cups. You've got two nines. This is like a total full circle. Yeah, Virgo, you are... Um, You look good. You seem to be stable and independent and on your own here. Going after your wishes, hopes, dreams, desires, having contentment with who you are and what you what you have in your life. Look at you. You're shining bright like a diamond here. Hmm. Yeah. 
Virgo, I mean, you seem to be okay with these three cards. Let me see. Let's keep going. There's Aquarius energy there. Wow. Maybe you're traveling, communicating with other people, reconnecting with people, dating, keep its arrows. Okay. So, Queen of Cups. So, there could be a, um, some kind of energy to do with a water sign. You're really getting in touch with your feelings, but you're also not ex uh, exposing how you feel you're just kind of like i feel like you know our crazy little chalice robot i feel like you're just protecting your your thoughts and your emotions your feelings maybe even becoming more spiritual paying attention to your spiritual self give me a clarifying card they just showed me the king of cups here so you could be um spending some time with a married couple or another couple during this time brothers and sisters as well so, or there's, a, yeah, like I said, a connection with a water sign. Um, let's see. Just keeping your feelings within. Like, I don't feel like you're suppressing them. I just feel like you're, you're not running on your emotions. Okay. So let's take a look and see. Show me the star. What's this Virgo? What's going on? Virgo's like a superstar. It's shining like a star. Okay. So... You might be telling yourself that, Virgo. You're like, you know, I'm a star. Does anybody know that? Maybe I do. Maybe just all my stuffed animals over in the corner. They're my biggest fans, and that's fine with me. I mean, you just kind of look like there's people or someone who's got a super crazy crush on you because of your shine. Somebody might be a little jealous of your shine. If, you, if you're that Virgo, okay, that you maybe you're in the public eye or some situation or you're just i don't know maybe you're maybe you're bathing by the pool and just you're getting a lot of attention and and people talking to you um that energy is definitely showing up so yeah i kind of feel like for you virgo you know it i don't see you breaking up with anyone honestly like uh, you have nothing here on your end that shows that you are going to be ending something with anyone I just feel like you're focused on yourself and maybe you're not giving a lot of attention to anyone in particular perhaps a king of swords an air sign but whatever the case whoever it is i feel like they are feeling like you aren't interested in them they're becoming addicted to you addicted to you like in the sense of like the it feels like because you're so focused on yourself, like you can't be controlled or you can't be dictated to. You've got the dragonfly here, Virgo. Being lighthearted, things coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, making friends. And cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Get it, maybe getting away from that and this just kind of fell out keys in a ring many options decision um not okay so hmm okay they just said some of you um there's this like old tapes playing over and over in your head about maybe believing that you're only worthy of a one night stand or you're only worthy to be strung along but you're changing that it looks like because you're changing that now you're you must be valuing yourself but like i said i don't feel like you um i'm not seeing anything here on your end that you're breaking up with anybody or you're ending something maybe you're just not in under somebody's thumb under my thumb yeah you're just that's kind of what it looks like you're just kind of like okay fine i don't care <laughs> idc is your is your new it's your new uh quote you just seem to like not care i don't think you are not loving anybody or i don't feel like you're not caring about anyone i just feel like you i don't know i don't know virgo i just feel like you're valuing yourself there's some self-love energy going on there's like healing there's renewal of your sense renewal of your spirit and this other person feels like you're leaving them your person feels like you're separating from them you're detaching from them and it's making them become more codependent and wanting to hold on even more 
and missing you and then they're even thinking about you more uh, maybe it's absence i don't know it might seem like you're being absent you might not be but maybe you're not chasing virgo you know maybe you're not chasing all right let's see let's get some chinese signs and like i said i'm going to go over to the extended to see like what the outcome of this particular relationship will be so if you have any invested interest in this reading definitely go over there and we'll take a look and see what the outcome will be for you and that person okay so we have a year of the horse this could be you and or your person year of the pig year of the goat double pig wink wink year of the dog it's rough <laughs> Did you see what I did there? Year of the tiger. Year of the rooster. Year of the rat. Tiger again. And the year of the snake. Okay. So if that doesn't resonate, that's fine. Let it go. Let's take a look and see. What are all these things coming through? Okay. Oop. So, August 29th, we have the letter M, the letter H, the letter A, and the letter V for initials. Um, Montana, someone's in Hawaii, someone's in Alaska, and someone is in Vermont. Um, 1963, someone's born in October, someone's 47, someone is 57. Okay, the letter D, we have an H again, and the letter I. Um, okay, someone's in Delaware. I just heard Houston. Uh, someone's in Illinois. Okay, September 16th, we have the letter D. Someone's 33, so we have another D. Um, Somebody's in, yeah, okay, they just said Texas. Uh, Dallas, someone's in Dallas. We have the letter E, okay, we have an August birthday here, the letter U. Someone lives, obviously, in Europe. We have the letter X. Ux. September 6th. August 24th. Ux. So there's, there's like a place called Ux, or it starts with Ux, U X, or someone, or Zhu, Z, uh, X U. 1982, someone is 50. Letter O, we have August 31st. 1974, someone is 43. And we have the letter Y. Y, O, Y. And 1990. All right, let's see if we can. And one more September birthday. September 8th. I probably said that. Um, let's take a look and see what the zodiac signs are. All right, we have Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Pisces. And Taurus again, double Aquarius, triple Aquarius, Capricorn, Sag, Aries, and Libra. Okay. And then we will get a couple of charms here. See what's going on. All right. We've got a watermelon and a peace sign. Okay. So, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't think it's watermelon season but something to do with watermelons or maybe just the flavor of watermelon or what maybe it's that song watermelon sugar somebody used to like that song um this could also be a pepperoni pizza i mean it's obviously a watermelon but it just gave me pepperoni pizza vibes <laughs> um so maybe somebody likes pizza or makes pizza or works in a pizza place owns a pizza place just or specifically loves watermelon a watermelon pizza whoa <laughs> i wonder what that would taste like 
Maybe that's like a fruit kind of dish you could make and bring for like a picnic. What the heck would that be? That would be like, I don't know, you could use... I guess for the red, you could use like jello or crushed up watermelon and then put little blueberries for seeds. Now, what am I talking about? Not seeds. You could put, I don't know what you would use for the pepperoni. <laughs> I don't know. Sliced red grapes, I guess. What the heck am I talking about? Oh my God. Anyway, peace sign. YOLO, you only live once. I'm hearing that. I haven't heard that in forever. That's like so 2006, I think. Um, okay. So, something to do with a peace sign. There's also a connection to Volkswagen, they just said. Somebody might drive um, a Volkswagen or a German car. A German car. Okay. I just heard a German car. Um, do I have any other messages? Yes, I want to just give you some of these um, Chinese messages. You have perseverance. You may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. Don't give up. Kate Bush. Okay, you also have positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. Wow, that's good news. I know some of you are like, listen, I'm done with the love thing. But look, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So, I mean, you're obviously, like, there's some good coming to you for sure. A wish is coming. But a, a wish that it's not just going to live on your doorstep. It's something that you've worked for. Um, and if it's a major purchase, yeah, it, that's going to be a good thing for you, a positive society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way, Virgo. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. Okay. Well, that, that must be what you're, that must be what you're uh, getting your, I don't know what you're doing. You also have romance. Wow. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Very good. Very, very good, Virgo. I love it. I love that for you. Oh, I love it too. Reinvent yourself. You got that the other day. Transformation taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. So whatever you're changing, whatever you're doing, Virgo, yeah, keep on keeping on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go into the extended to see how this whole scenario is going to turn out, right? And if that's something that you're interested in, the link will be in the description box below. If you, uh, you know, have a keen interest in someone in particular that for whatever reason you need to know about that'll be over in the extended um you guys i am going to be creating those tarot classes i just wanted to tell you so um i'm not exactly sure i have to get a syllabus to put it together i kind of been him and hawing about it but i've had so much positive feedback um about everybody wanting the classes so I'm probably gonna have them on my gum road um, not sure if I'm gonna do it with a subscription service or um, downloadable videos or what have you so um, they'll be pretty intense pretty in-depth but I want to make it so that you guys will be able to access it anytime you have like questions um, there will probably be a group that I'll create as well so if there's anything you need help with I'll be able to either me or um, uh, the person I have that wants that well maybe administrating it will be able to help with as well so yeah I'm gonna leave that there for you guys and uh, tomorrow will be your weekend reading so come back for that to see what's going on for the weekend and uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day evening lunch dinner glass of wine at night with your Netflix, whatever you're doing. Enjoy. This reading is super, super short. Wait a minute. I just realized. I can't even believe it's a small. Should I give you just a few more messages? I feel like I should. Anybody who clicked off, sorry. <laughs> let me, let me just give you a few more extra messages. We'll see if there's anything else up showing up here for you. Oh, you know what they just said? Spirit just said, give Virgo some 
business messages. Okay, some work messages. Work, career, finances, all that. Okay. That's, that's a little extra bonus at the end here for those of you who are like, yeah, I don't, I don't care about love. Tell me about my work. <laughs> okay. Oh, you've got prickly situation. You need both tact and diplomacy to reach your goals. The struggle is worth the prize. Work around the issue and use a gentle touch. Okay. So that's pretty much like if there's a goal that you have set that you need to attain um, where other people are involved. You're being asked at this time. Don't ruffle any feathers, so to speak. Try to be tactful and gentle so that you can get to the prize that you're seeking. Um, don't don't create obstacles. Don't create mountains out of molehills. You know the the rose is look at this. There's there's like a rose, and it's there's a lot of prickly little bushes around it. In order to get to that, like you have to be very slow, gentle, careful. I like that uh, illustration for that. Let me see what else is going on. Just a few more messages here for Virgo. Okay. And I gave you two more. Okay, you have magic. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want into your life. The sky is the limit. And you also have give and take. Be open to giving and receiving to keep the flow. Oh, my camera just... To keep the flow of abundance going. Give someone a chance and ask for what your heart desires. Who? A little big old heart there. I mean, that could have something to do with love, too. But you want to keep a flow of abundance going. I'm going to give you some more. Outside forces, unknown figures are driving the situation, and you may not be able to control the outcome. This cycle will shift soon, and you will be okay. So if you're in a situation where you've got like external forces hindering movement for you, um, it's just a cycle. It's just a phase. They will be. They'll move on to the next. I'm hearing. They'll move on to the next because you you know you'll be done. Like they'll get bored with it. This is what I'm hearing. And then you'll have your freedom back. Okay, you also have wealth. Look at all that. I heard like gold, gold is really going up right now. You are working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life. Keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning. All right, one more. Oh, and you also have short-term. <laughs> this position is temporary, so don't be too attached to it. No worries, you will find something that's even more fulfilling and prosperous. Yes. So here you go. If you're doing something short term, like a temp position, or it's just to get you by, it's not going to be forever. You have whatever you're working toward. Keep your eye on the long term goal, but also um, deal with the short term goals as well, okay? Because they will get you to where you need to be. All right. I hope you like that little bonus work, career, finances, wealth, all that stuff. All right, you guys. Love ya. See you back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.